you know, the teams that are making a lot of moves, like the Hawks, I'm not sold on a lot of the moves the Hawks are making. On paper, oh, it sounds nice. You got Rondo, you got Gallinari. I really like Bogdanovich. But how are all those pieces going to fit on a young roster who's never had any success? How, how are you making that work? What, what rotations are you putting together to really maximize Trey Young and what, and what you do? Yeah, well, I didn't put yeah. do you think <laughs> Trey's numbers will be as good this year as last year? Uh, no, I think, I think his numbers might take a slight hit. Yeah. Scoring, I think his assists are still going to do the same thing assist-wise. But Rondo is going to have the basketball if, he, if they're going to play him. If they're, what do you think? They give him 20, 20 25 minutes? In the regular Easily. season, but he's still gonna be coming off the bench. Trey Young is still gonna have the ball in his hands a lot. I think I don't think his assist numbers will be affected by it. Just, I think you're probably maybe he'll see scoring three or four points less just because you got Bogdanovich there. Um, so maybe, but I think he's still gonna do good. But they're not yeah. they're not making no noise in the Eastern Conference. So I don't think this is a move where I'm like, yo, they just jump to fifth in the East. But this is why they're making those moves, though. They're making they are making yeah, these moves. Do that, but just based off of. What I've seen from the Eastern Conference, none of these moves would lead me to believe that they're going to jump from not being a playoff team to, at minimum, the fifth seed. They should be better. They should be better, which is the point. They're yeah, definitely trying to better. improve. They'll, they'll probably be around round eighth. And can't. And it's a lot how Cam develops. You know, a lot goes into it. There's what? a lot of young players that have to develop. And Cam had a great end of the season. So if he could step up, he has a lot of potential. Uh, he could play both sides of the ball. He could play on the ball. He could play off the ball. I mean, we'll see what, how Cam develops. That's a big piece as well. It's a huge piece, and that's why I don't really like how this how the roster is being uh, put together because I think Gallinari takes away minutes from Collins. Um, you know, you bring in this 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 whole mix of different guards, Bogdanovich, Rondo, Chris Dunn. How does that affect Kuwaita? How does that affect Hunter? You know, you, you, you're paying these veterans to be there. They're going to play. So ultimately, the young guys who need to continue to develop are going to be the ones that are going to miss out on the minutes and the opportunities. It feels like it's less of the Trey Young show, that, what we're going into. That's what it feels like. Well, it's the roster. And I like I like Trey a lot, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be the same kind of stats, like you know, stat stuff for Trey that we saw last year. You know. Well, I think it's more so the people that are going to be affected the most by it are going to be uh, DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish. Trey Young is still – he's still the, their superstar. And Trey, and Trey is box office more exactly. than anybody on oh, that team. Oh, without a doubt. He's still going to have he's the green light office. when he wants. He's going to have the yeah. ball in his hands for the majority of the time that he's on the court. It's those other two young cats that are going to be affected because they're going to lose minutes to Bogdanovich because if he's out there lighting it up, you're not putting him on the bench, you know what I'm saying, to bring one of these guys in and – you know what I'm saying? It, it, Gallo, he's going to take away, away a lot of those minutes. So I, I, I don't see them going higher than a seventh seed in the Eastern Conference. And and I think it's going to stunt the development of their younger core. Yeah, they, they're, they're all in on being the ninth seed in the East. They're all in on the ninth seed. We'll see. They're, yeah, they, they've already circled their calendar to play in game. They're right there at the ninth seed. They're ready to go. Well, they might be in the tournament, though. That I, uh, that's what it looks I like. Mean, they, but what if all for. these young guys get better and the, I don't old, think the, that better the older guard knows their role around that? Yeah, but but the guys they brought in weren't only only Rondo. We can legitimately say was brought in to be the older guard who knows his place. Gallinari Gallinari should be at that point by now. I mean, they they signed him on the first day of free agency as if he was top priority. Yeah, I mean that, he that'll. Is. That always says a lot to me. If I, if I sign you on the first day of free agency, that means I had your name at was as one of the top ones on my board that I had to sign you because I was scared someone else was going to get you. Who else was going to give Gallinari that money? No disrespect to Gallinari. Who knows in this market? On my list like Who knows? That. Like, he's not a player that I'm just like, oh, my God, I got to go sign Gallinari. Right. Uh, not to be like, that's the first guy I'm trying to sign in free agency, especially like he, he's more of a team. If I was If I was an established playoff team, I might go for Gallinari if I needed a shooter. Not a young team. You, you guys are saying that Atlanta's trying to rush the process. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't even know Absolutely. what the process is in Atlanta. That's what they, do they even have a process? Are they just bringing guys together because they? Oh, this guy's nice, this guy's nice. Let's just bring them down here and we'll figure well, it out. They, they, they've kind of swerved, though, because a few years ago when they drafted uh, Trey and Huerta in the same draft, and the thinking was we want to create something similar to what Golden State had with these young guys, great backcourt develops together, and then, you know, they had all these young guys and we talked about it before the draft combo that we didn't think they would they would select anyone at six this year because they want to bring veterans in. 
if you bring in one veteran, two veterans, cool. But this collection, like I said, just doesn't make sense. Like Bogdanovich is there to ball. Bogdanovich is not there to just be a veteran on the team. Yeah. Like you're saying, Wes Matthews would have made more sense. <laughs> like, I, or, like, I'm be honest. Even a Drew Holiday. I, or Drew would have been perfect. Yeah, yeah. But I know Drew was looking to compete, you know, for, for, exactly, for more states. Exactly, yeah. But he would have been in the same situation he was in. Yeah, he might have been in New Orleans for that. Absolutely. But if you're Atlanta, I think you would have been better suited to say, you know what, we'll go get Rondo and we'll go get Gordon Hayward. And we'll get two veterans who are already established who can help elevate our young guys. But Bogdanovich ain't there to stand in the corner. <laughs> nah, he could, cre- he could create a little bit. Right. So I, I don't he's, gonna, he's gonna get his minutes. He's gonna want the basketball. He's gonna score. Like he's gonna take away from yeah. two, from Cam and DeAndre Hunter. You know, Donald DeAndre Hunter is, is more of the, the defensive wing, but he's still he's gonna take it away from their development because he has to have the ball. You didn't pay him that money and bring him over for him to to come off the bench for him to not play thirty five minutes a game. And, and and Bogdanovich, I'm really surprised that he's going to Atlanta because. How is this really any different than the Sacramento situation? He, in Sacramento, he had he had the fight for the ball with with De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Hill. Yeah, so he's gonna be doing the same thing. I mean, even yeah. he'll have a little bit more of a green light just because you know what I'm saying he's probably he's, he's better than those guys offensively. But even still, he's in the same damn position he was in. If anything, I would have just been like, you know tried to get Pat whatever they was going to say about the, that going to the Bucks and try to get my way to the Bucks. But then you know but, everybody's not looking to get the chip. I'm, you know, I'm maybe. I think if that would have went through, some people would have got in trouble. Yeah, right? that that's that's what stopped the trade. Yeah. It, it was tampering. Damn, and that, the league I wasn't. Want, I want to ring. I don't care. I'm not going down the. Yeah, but you ain't got no choice at that point. When the league yeah. steps in, it's like we're not allowing it. Ain't nothing you could do. Uh, well, he should have went to somebody else. Then there was another playoff team he could have went to, and 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 been good. I'm. If, hey, I'd rather live in Atlanta than Milwaukee. Shouts to, uh, I agree with that. Shouts to everybody. Shouts to everyone who lives in Milwaukee, though, man. I, I agree. Court, you know? Yeah, we're talking about. We're talking <laughs> don't about. Don't want to offend the listeners, combo. Uh, you don't definitely not. Me. Definitely not. <laughs> you have to play for the Bucks, though. What? If you're Bogdanovich, you know, yeah. what I'm saying? you'd rather yeah. play for the Bucks. Like, why? Yeah, I-, I mean, look, that that might have put them over the top. Who knows? You know? That did not put yeah. them over the top. What? Top of what? For, to make to to win the East. Definitely. He said if he went to Milwaukee. Oh, oh, oh you saying yeah, yeah. Oh, Milwaukee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milwaukee. Okay, that's yeah. what I said because him going to Atlanta. Nah, nah, they're not ready yet. They're not that's ready. Yet. So, I, I like Trey a lot, you know, and I even like Cam. Uh, they're not. They're, they're not ready yet. They're years away. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.